welcome to my channel everybody in this video I'm going to be showcasing the exteriors of all 10 nightclubs we're able to purchase as of today now if you're anything like me and you're very picky you have to look at every little detail of every little property before you go ahead and make a decision well that's what I'm here for today I'm going to show you the exteriors of all 10 properties to give you a better idea of what you want to buy for yourself so let's take a look now first up West Vinewood nightclub 1.7 million dollars at the top of the map now in one of my other videos when I speculated on which properties would be added before the update I actually called this property right here now this is the most expensive property for the nightclubs we can buy what that means is that it's gonna be extremely busy there's gonna be a lot of people who own this club simply for the fact that it's the most expensive so if that's something you're worried about I would be very cautious in this manner next up downtown Vinewood nightclub 1 million six hundred seventy thousand now this I also called in my last speculation video this property is the second most expensive also at the top of the map in a pretty good location but the outside looks like a dump there's graffiti all over it there's garbage all over the floors but it's still in a good location there's probably not going to be a lot of people who buy this club so it's it's probably a good option this is one club that I am considering buying for myself but we will see I did buy a cheaper club for now without any upgrades just to see how the club works out when I get comfortable and choose a permanent club I'll go ahead and add some upgrades probably gonna be this one third club moving south Del Piero nightclub 1 million six hundred forty five thousand now this location is right by the beach near the Lombank Bank office and the Maze Bank West office it's in a good location there's a cocaine lockup right around the corner but anyway, the exterior of this building is nice white brick, green painted balconies, upper class type of club. It's pretty nice. So far from what I've seen, a lot of people own this club, so I would also be cautious with this one. But it's a nice club, great location. A lot of people shouldn't be a huge problem, but it's something to think about. So I'll leave that up to you to decide. Next up, Vespucci Canals Nightclub, $1,320,000. Now this club is just south of the Del Piero Club I just showed you. This one, however, is a little bit more secluded. It's in the back of this building, which you cannot see or access directly from the front or the street. So this is a little bit safer in case you're worried about griefers. So that's a good feature to have. Plus you have these beautiful condos right on the water big plus thumbs up on this one and here we have strawberry nightclub one million five hundred twenty five thousand dollars now this club here is just around the corner from the vanilla unicorn strip club under this bridge here the overpass of the highway it's this big warehouse looking building with a foreclosure sign on it you can't miss it really but anyways it's just around the corner from the strip club Benny's Works is also around the corner. If you go down this alleyway here, you'll actually see Benny's. Give you a better idea, better perspective of where it is. This brick building here. So it's on a main road, but not something I would choose. Mission Row Nightclub, $1,440,000. This one is right around the corner from the police department now. Like I just showed you, the police department. Just drive down the street here a little bit and bang take a left and here it is right in the alley so this club is basically in the middle of nowhere kind of no one would ever know it's a freaking nightclub but there's a lot of alleyways here which can make it kind of difficult to get back if you're in a rush if someone's after you it's a lot of tight corners tight turns to get back inside so you want to keep that into consideration and go from there. Here we have La Mesa Nightclub, 
one million five hundred thousand dollars now this club is just under the southernmost circular highway entrance in La Mesa just south of the paint spray now this club is pretty secluded I have not yet seen anyone own this club personally so I think you get a pretty decent amount of privacy over here it's nice you got the bridge over you so nobody could really come grief you with a helicopter or buzzard or bomb something like that that's good to have Cypress Flats nightclub one million three hundred seventy thousand dollars this club is just behind the ammunition here if you pull in to the ammunition go through this little shed here here it is right on the corner now this club is also down south so once you get to these southern clubs there's not a lot of people who come down here they're a little cheaper down here but you get your privacy but they're also far out of the way LSIA nightclub one million one hundred thirty five thousand dollars this club is also very secluded but you think about it who would put a nightclub hey down here partner. honestly but anyways if you take a look at it here it's got a little fence guarding it nice fence for privacy a three bay garage here not that you really use them but it's nice to have for looks you got this little entrance here and here we have last but not least Elysian Island this is the cheapest club you can buy and the most southern club in the game priced just over a million dollars and it's very lonely unless you own a club down here you or anybody else has no business down here whatsoever because there is absolutely nothing interesting down here at all so if that's what you're looking for some people like that this is a good club for you it's right on the water it's way down by the airport by the docks if that's what you like this is the club for you anyway thanks a lot guys I appreciate your time if you like this video I'd appreciate a thumbs up as well also stay tuned if you want to see the interiors of the club and you have not seen them yet make sure to keep a lookout for my interior videos again thanks a lot guys as always have a good one